we're going to change the bearing out in a sand and pulley off the clutch assembly. One thing that's very important when you're pressing a bearing out or working on these pulleys is to have a fixture to support the surface of the pulley. A lot of the times when you're replacing a bearing, the bearing's already seized up. It's, it's heated up and it's actually tacked itself to the inner, inner ring of the pulley. Pressing it out, you're having to use an excess amount of force. It's real easy to bend the pulley. A great template to use is the clutch coil as a template for you guys that build your own fixtures. To slide up in here but you have to have something to support the sur drive surface of the pulley. The coal's a great template to use. Using our press fixture to support the pulley, the drive surface, put under our press. Got the pulley out. The pulley's not bent or warped, so you'll have good surface contact for your drive hub. Going back, installing the new bearing in the pulley. Go ahead and get the, the bearing seated in into the pulley. Make sure it's even and the bearing's not cockeyed. Using our same fixture as we're pressing back in, we need to support the front surface of the rotor here using a bearing fit press fixture it's pressing down on the outer race of the bearing okay. you'll usually hear a pop that'll be the bearing fully seating and bottoming out Fixture off. Pulley smooth. It's completely pressed in to the front of the pulley. And now we're ready to stake the bearing in place. Using our press fixture to once again support the drive surface. Using a six point staking tool. Sand in stakes there is out of 12. We're using a six point. And your bearing is staked in. Pulley is ready to be reinstalled back on the compressor and put back into service.